Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, family, relatives, and friends, friends on Facebook, followers on the tip, that's Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and to my subscribers here on YouTube, let me talk to you, Eric Lima here bringing you the 530th episode of my YouTube show known as the People's Lima, this won't be a short and sweet because I don't got a lot of time here, because the carnival will start at noon, and we're about, hmm, I'm looking at, it's 11.16, about 44 minutes away. And I gotta still gotta eat lunch, and I don't want to spend any money on food over there. I checked a little bit at the carnival, and the weather does not the for, weather forecast for the weekend it doesn't look very promising. But you never know; things change. You know, meteorologists can be wrong from time to time again. But however, we're gonna try to make the most of it. I'm gonna try to make the most of it there, and hopefully, I can bring you a report from from the, from the Family Fun Festival itself. It seems to me that that's what um. That's what I'm here for. Um, a little bit of a so I'm gonna I'm gonna get me mentally prepared. I got my fanny pack. Um, I'm, I got my GoPro cam ready to go. Um, I got my phone here ready to go and um, all charged up. All I need is gonna eat some lunch and then get going. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm not gonna be um, standing here hanging out here much and so. Uh, just to let you know, let everything going out, it's called, I'm getting prepared mentally and physically and just getting ready to go and just going to have some fun. I'm going to do the best if we can. It's a little cloudy out there. I'd rather have it overcast than have it total rain. But, you know, they say, you know, a small chance of, slight chance of rain. Um, so anything, anything, you know, anything and everything is possible. So I'm hoping to uh, make the most of it. If it turns out to be a dud, it could be a blessing in disguise. I don't have to worry about spending money like crazy. Um, I usually do that every single year going there, but now it's like, you know, ever since then, the festival's been dwindling down somewhat, but now it's trying to get back up to to its regular base, but you never know what, you never know what we'll be finding there, so I visited my grandmother yesterday, and uh, I was really happy, and I was really happy to get a chance to do that, and uh, got, I had a selfie with, with her, so it's, um, you know, you, you never know when, when, when your grandparents are going to leave you. That's the thing that it's gonna be tough, and uh, you know, <clears throat> but she's really sweet, very, very lax, and was very, always full of smiles every time she sees people. And I think that's the main thing for her is to, uh, you know, for her, for her to smile and have a great time, and, you know, because you can use a laugh, and that's the way it is, you know. And also, I'm always been a respectful guy in recent years, and so, <clears throat> so that's what we did yesterday. So quite an eventful week coming up. And uh, as you know, a week from tomorrow, I will I will be in Medford to say goodbye to my brother who has been um, go, who is deployed to Kuwait. Um, he'll be in the safer part of Kuwait though. And, you know, but keep him in your prayers just in case because a lot of crazy things are going around. We've got cops getting shot here and uh, shot up in Dallas. So we got you know people getting shot. You know innocent people getting shot and killed and. Uh, it's really, really sad that violence is really taking over our country, and just, you know, I, and we've allowed it so. And you know, and a lot of people, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people would say, "How come you don't own a gun or anything like that?" Well, I don't. I'm not necessarily a believer in guns. I'm not a licensed person to hold a gun or anything like that. Like I said before, um, sometimes you have to use your wisdom and you know get out of situations, and sometimes. It's a good, you know, you, you don't want to do anything stupid. And that's, my father always tells me, use your head, don't do stupid things. And I encourage all the people to do that. Because sometimes if you do a stupid thing, you're going to get hurt. And that's the main thing right now. So for me, just I use my head, you know, use my head, use my heart, use my mind, use my brain. And just to uh, try to, uh, you know, be smart. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's why this carnival, I'm going to try to be smart. Sometimes you want to have a good time. And when, when it comes to having a good time at parties, something like that, sometimes you have to come up with a plan. And that's what, you know, the, with the Family Fun Festival coming up, you got to come up with a plan. You know, you can assess your situation and go, okay, mm, okay, it's not. All right, boom, bullseye. That's what I need to do. So that's the um, main thing for, for everyone. So it'll be great. So. So that's all the time we have on the show. Sorry I made it short, and uh, hope I see if I hope um, just hope I hope the rain holds off to have so I can have a great time there. Uh, to my family, relatives, and friends, thank you for your support and tuning in. To all my subscribers on YouTube and everywhere else, thank you for also tuning in as well. Remember, um, use your head, do not do stupid things, and coolness is the essence of a happy person. And um, I'll possibly do another episode from from there if it's nice enough. And hopefully do uh, a little 
It all depends on what kind of rides are there because I couldn't see all the rides. So, see you guys later and have a great day.